Hello everybody, Max Lakato here, just checking in. I want to encourage you to make sure as you're facing the challenges of this coronavirus crisis that you're counting on Christ. Count on Christ to help you. You see, that's what the apostles forgot to do. There was a situation in which 5,000 men plus women and children were surrounding the followers of Christ and they had no food. These people had no food and Christ knew they were hungry. Now look what Jesus said to the followers. Jesus lifted up his eyes and seeing the great multitude coming toward him, he said to Philip, where shall we buy bread that these may eat? But he said this to test him for he already knew what he would do. That phrase, he said this to test him, it can even be translated, he said this to stretch his faith, to stretch his faith. He was challenging Philip. I think Christ right now is challenging us. He's testing our faith. He's strengthening our faith. He's giving us an opportunity to turn to him. I think what he had hoped Philip would do he had hoped that Philip would turn and look right back at Christ and say, well, we don't have what it takes to feed these people, but boy, we've seen you walk on water. We've seen you heal the sick. We've seen you uh, deliver demons. We believe you can do it. We can't do it, but you can. But what Philip did is he began to calculate how much money it would cost. We don't know how much money they had, but Philip, he said 200 denarii worth of bread is not sufficient for them. Maybe that's how much money that Philip had in the purse. Well, we've got 200 coins here, but that's not enough. And then one of the disciples, Andrew, Peter's brother said, and there's a lad here who has five barley loaves and two fish, but what's that among all these people? So what they do is they turn and they look at their own resources. They look in their purse, they look in the basket, and they say, we just don't have what it takes. Maybe you feel the same. Maybe you're looking at your strength. Maybe you're looking at your retirement account now. Maybe you're looking at the news, watching a lot of CNN, and a lot of Fox, and a lot of MSNBC, and you're saying, we don't have what it takes. You see, the followers were tested. Their faith was stretched. I think what Christ was hoping they would do is say, you can do it, Christ. You can do it. What we need right now is a congregation, a quorum of people all around the globe who will look to Christ in prayer and say, we can't solve this, but you can. You can. Please, Jesus, show off. Demonstrate your power. We can't solve this, but you can. Would you be one of those people today? Would you be one of those people who realizes that we can count on much more than baskets and purses. We can count on Christ and He will get us through this. He'll get you through this. And so, Lord, I pray a blessing on everybody who hears these words. I pray a blessing of strength. I pray that you would remind us that there is great power and that power comes from you. Oh, Lord God, have mercy upon us during this time. Take what seems to be a disaster and use it for an opportunity to show how strong you are. You fed the crowd that day, feed us today. Take care of us, nourish us, and take what seems to be an impossible situation and turn it into a miracle. We pray through Christ, amen. Don't forget the online Bible study. Information is right there on the screen. I hope you'll sign up and be a part of this Anxious for Nothing online Bible study. It's free. It begins March the 22nd. You can download the videos. You can download the curriculum. And if you want to order the book, that would be a great companion as well. Let's get through this. Let's keep turning to Christ for help.